blessed day to you all, brothers and sisters. Last Sunday, my family and I were blessed by the preaching of Pastor Peter on Affirmation, which is part of the Motivate series. Today, I'd like to share with you some thoughts and some of my notes that I took away from that preaching. First, what is it to affirm? To affirm is to encourage, to build, to motivate, and using Pastor Peter's own words, to, to affirm is to declare a positive truth about another person. What then is our tool in affirming another person? Our main tool is the words we use. Words have weight and meaning. Words can destroy. Words can build. Words can be the vehicle to shine light to someone who is discouraged. Words also is our vehicle for communicating our love for that person. Words are our tool. The best example of affirmation is that coming from God the Father to His Son, Jesus Christ. In Mark chapter 1, verse 11, it is said, And a voice came out of the heavens, You are my beloved Son, in you I am well pleased. Why then do we need to affirm another person? We affirm another person to highlight to him or to her the positive potential that will encourage him or her to grow. Another side effect of affirmation is that when we do affirm another person, that act itself affirms the intimate relationship that we have with that other person. Our motivation is love when we affirm. There are two other situations when an affirmation is very useful. First is when the other person is deflated or discouraged. And the second is when we see a correction in behavior that is needed in the other person. I remember one afternoon finding one of my daughters crying in her room because she didn't qualify to the competition level dance that she auditioned for. So I sat down with her, consoled her, and pointed her to the fact that she actually had the courage to audition for something that she didn't train for. After she had cried it out, she was able to get up and to move on. And for the rest of the year, she was actually able to grow and enjoy in her passion, which is dance. Affirmation is also a powerful tool when we see certain behaviors that need to be corrected. Sister Diona shared with us the sandwich principle. When we see a behavior that needs to be corrected, we sandwich it into affirmations. So we affirm, we correct, and then we affirm again. And I think what makes it powerful is that it directly and powerfully communicates to the other person that we are motivated by our love for him or her. Now, brothers and sisters, I will close with some words of affirmation for all of us who are followers of Christ. From Psalm 37 verses 23 to 24. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. God bless you all.